what's up guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good so in today's video i have some new goodies to share with you guys i have a poly gel kit from beetles and some jewelry i'm also going to be doing a fall theme set because i feel like i've been going crazy with the halloween set so i definitely wanted to do something fall theme so this is the galaxy world poly gel kit it comes with six different 15 mil poly gels a 7.5 milliliter base gel you also get some dual forms in this kit they come in different shapes you get a stiletto shape set and then there's also some regular like square shaped that's the cool thing about beetles kits they have like different shape forms which i think is cool for the people that use them i don't really use them but i do think it's cool for the people that do you also get some stickers they're like little white four point stars but my light was like way too bright to see them you could kind of see them when I put them down though. Um, and it also comes with three glitters and a little pot of stones that have like stars and moons. You also get a 15 milliliter gel slip solution and a 7.5 milliliter top coat. It's the same size as the base coat. There's also a 100, 180 grit nail file. And then you do get a poly gel brush. It has a little gel brush on one side and then a scraper tool on the other side to place poly gel on your nails. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this stuff away so I can show you guys the jewelry. So I was contacted by a new company called Joyce Name. They make personalized jewelry. So you guys know I was excited to receive some jewelry. I love jewelry. But yeah, um, the necklace that I picked comes in a little velvet pouch. I picked a necklace and earrings, so I'm gonna show you guys the necklace first. So yeah, each piece of jewelry comes with a little card that says, My heart beats for you every day. I'm inspired by you every minute, and I worry about you every second. It is wonderful to have you in my life. I thought that was a nice little touch um, to their packaging, and it makes their brand pretty unique. So this is the necklace that I got. It's called the Sparkling Heart Necklace. It is a name necklace, but I got mine to say, honey on it because I wanted something different and I think it's cool how you can personalize them I got mine in 14 inches um, you can get them in up to 20 inches and this is what the little clasp looks like the necklace is also sterling silver and gold plated and I also did get some earrings um, these are the bamboo custom name earrings they're tiny little hoops but I thought they were so cute normally I like bigger hoops um, but yeah, if they're really cute and small, I like them, especially lately. I don't know. I've been liking the smaller hoop look, but I got them to say the same thing. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. These don't seem like they hold up as well as the necklace. Um, it could be because they're like copper. They're not sterling silver gold plated, but I literally put them on to take my pictures. And when I took them off, it seemed like some of the gold was coming off. I don't know if it's because I had like lotion on my hands or something. So just keep that in mind if you do decide to buy something from them. I don't really think um, the earrings would be the best bet unless you're just like really careful. The necklace does seem like better quality. But yeah, definitely check the description box if you're interested. I do have like a discount code um, that they did give me for you guys. I'm not an affiliate, but they did give me a code in case you wanted to shop there. So these are all the colors from the kit. I swatched them off camera and I applied a layer of top coat. They're all really pretty. There's no bubbles or anything. Beetles definitely updated their formula um, since the first poly gel kit that I tried. It's a really good consistency. The poly gels are nice and like firm and easy to work with. So yeah, I'm going to be filming with my non-dominant hand today. So I'm going in with my dehydrator and primer. I do still have a little bit of product on my nails. But I'm covering that up and they won't be on long. If you want to see how I prep my nail tips and shape them up beforehand, I do have a video dedicated to poly gel prep. So I'll link that in the cards. But yeah, now I'm going in with my base gel after I did my dehydrator and primer. I used Bella Vina dehydrator and primer, by the way. But you always want to apply the base gel onto your nails. This is going to give that poly gel something to grip onto and it will stay on your nails and it won't lift or pop off or anything like that. So I'm just gonna clean around the cuticle area and cure for 60 seconds. Now I'm taking this milky white gel polish from Madame Glam and I'm gonna be doing an ombre. So I'm painting the tips of my nails with this milky white color. I really wanted a milky white ombre for this set. 
So yeah, I'm just going in with a thin layer of that on all of the nails. If you don't have milky white gel polish, you can always mix like white polish and top coat and like mix it together and it'll kind of like dilute the color and then you could just like paint your nails with it. But yeah, I have this one, so I'm just going in with it. Um, and I'm gonna cure this for 60 seconds after I apply it. Okay, now I'm gonna be taking that shade 104 and I'm applying a small bead of that onto each one of the nails up by the cuticle area. And I'm gonna be using the gel slip solution that they include in the kit. So you kinda of just want to brush it over the poly gel a little bit. Um, and this will help you move the poly gel around on the nails. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be doing an ombre. Um, so I'm basically just gonna be fading this color down into the tip color that I applied. You only need a very small amount but I always start patting by the cuticle and just blend it where the tip and the natural nail meet. And it's really just that easy. I also do use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol to clean off my brush if I feel like it gets too sticky. Even though they include this slip solution, I don't know, I always still use like a little bit of isopropyl alcohol because sometimes your brush does end up getting a little bit like sticky from like all the gel on it and you need to wipe it off. So I always end up doing that or you could just like wipe it on a paper towel. But yeah, definitely only apply a little bit because you definitely don't need a like a big amount for this. All right, so now that the nails are cured, I'm gonna be taking these little leaf stickers that I received from a cart. I'm not sure if they're available yet on their website, but if they are, I will link them down below in the description box. But yeah, I'm just using these little like fall themed leaves. I try to put like a little bit of each color on there to kind of like really give that like autumn fall vibe, you know? Um, so basically you just want to like pick them off with some tweezers, they're really small. And just make sure you're laying them flat on your nails um, one tip I would give you guys though is to kind of like cleanse your nails with like a nail cleanser or the isopropyl alcohol to get that tacky layer off I didn't do that because I was kind of being lazy and yeah they were kind of like popping up a little bit because of the tacky layer so yeah just make sure you cleanse your nails they'll stick on your nails better And now I'm gonna take some base gel and apply it to my nails. And then I'm gonna be sticking some of these little maple leaf glitters into the gel and like curing it in place. This is how I always apply my glitters when I do poly gel. But it was looking a little bit too plain. 
with like just the stickers I needed like a little more oomph so I decided to apply the glitters to make the stickers like pop out more and I think it was a good idea because I don't know it just made the nail look better and not so boring so that's what I did and after I apply my glitters I do cure in my lamp and then I'm going to go ahead and like encapsulate everything. All right, so to encapsulate everything, I'm using shade 102 from the kit, and this is just the clear shade. Um, so I basically just apply the poly gel straight onto the nail from the bottle. I prefer to do it this way. I just feel like the poly gel gets too bubbly and stringy and stuff when you use the scraper tool. Um, so yeah, I just prefer to squeeze it right out on the nail because if you squeeze it out the right way, like with the rounded end by the cuticle area, you could kind of use that rounded end to build your apex area. So when I start patting the poly gel in place, I'm always starting by the cuticle and I like pat it around the cuticle and like the rest of the rounded end, I like pat it over the nail bed area, but I don't brush it down because I use that part to kind of like build the apex, if that makes sense. And then for the rest of the poly gel, when I apply it down the nail, I just pat like side to side all the way down the nail and kind of just like use my brush to like smooth the nail out if I need to like brush some of the poly gel up or down just to like even out. But as you can see, it gives you like a really nice apex um, just by doing that. And if you feel like you need to go in with another layer, you can always do that. Um, for this set, I think they were like the perfect thickness, so I didn't go in with a second layer. I 
Okay, so now I'm gonna start filing up the nails. As always, I'm using my medium grit ceramic drill bit to debulk. And I'm also filming with my dominant hand for this portion of the video so you could see what I'm doing. The last time I tried to film with my non-dominant hand, like you couldn't even see what I was doing and I was all out of frame, so I just prefer to do it this way. But yeah, I always start by debulking. I go around the cuticle and then smooth the surface of the whole nail. I kind of go side to side with my drill and then I file up and down with the drill to file the sidewalls. I make sure to go underneath the nail and then like file along the sides to kind of redefine the shape before I go in with my hand file. You can either go up and down with your drill to file the surface of the nail or like side to side, whichever you feel comfortable with. Um, side to side is more of like an advanced technique, whereas beginners start off like filing up and down with the drill because it's easier to keep the drill bit steadier that way. Um, I kind of just use my pinky to balance and that is the way that I keep my hand steady so that I can file side to side if you ever had trouble with that. Um, but yeah, I always make sure to like do that and I go around the cuticle as much as I can to get the product down before I go in with my cuticle bit. Next, I'm gonna take my cuticle bit and I'm just gonna seal around the cuticle. I just take my cuticle bit on a low speed and I kind of go in between where the artificial nail is 
and the cuticle and I just clean around that area. This will help to actually seal around the cuticle area so that you don't get lifting because the bit is really small enough to fit in that area. I just love using these because it really like gets in between that area and gets like off like any crust or product that you can't really see that well. And you'd be surprised like how much you actually take off when you go around that area that you would have missed if you didn't use a cuticle bit. Um, yeah, by the way, I do have some drill bit recommendations in the description box under my Amazon store under nail products if you wanted to check that out. And to finish up the filing, I'm just going to go in with my hand file and shape up the nails. As you guys know, I always like doing this as the last step to my filing um, because it gives you a nice really sharp shape. Like I always tell you guys, that drill really does dull your shape. If you go in with the hand file first to shape up your nails and then go in and debulk with your drill after the fact, it really does dull your shape. So doing it this way, you get a nice sharp shape that will last like by the time you're ready to do your nails again. So yeah, we're doing a long tapered square shape. So you want to hold your file straight and file up the sides and then angle your file in to file the tip in um, and keep your file straight no matter what you're doing so that both sides come out evenly and whatever you do to one side, do to the other side. So don't file on one side for too long because the shape of your nails will come out uneven. And you also want to um, file the free edge of your nails. You want to hold the file kind of at a slight angle and file straight across. Or you can like file at an angle like up and down with the hand file. And I do go ahead and buff out the scratches when I'm done filing.
Moving on to the nail art, I did my best to try to stay in frame, but like I said, I'm using my non-dominant hand for this part, so I tried my best, okay? I'm not the best at like filming with my non-dominant hand. I do need to get better. But yeah, I'm doing kind of like a little, I guess you would call it like a corset type of design. Um, so to do this, I'm using a gold like bronzy color. It's like a gel polish from one of the Beatles gel polish kits that I reviewed. Its number is A909. But yeah, um, basically I make like four lines going across the nail in one direction and then kind of like four lines going across the nail in another direction. Kind of like you're making X's in a way whenever I decide to come back and frame. There we go. So yeah, kind of like you're making X's in a way. And then when you turn the nail to the sides, you could kind of like draw the lines off to the side to kind of like continue the pattern like you see me doing here. And yeah, it's a really simple, like easy design. And to get like thinner lines, you can use the tip of your brush. I didn't make these super thin. Um, they're kind of like medium thickness, I guess you would say. To finish up the design, I'm going to go ahead and top coat the nails and then just place some rhinestones into the gel and cure. Since I'm not keeping these on long, of course, use anything that has a stronger hold if you want to keep them on longer. Um, but yeah, I'm placing like some rhinestones going down the middle and then two off the sides um, on each nail. And I think it looks really cute. Like I feel like it made the design pop more and I really love the gold and everything like that. I love how it's still like pretty but it gives like the fall vibe and it still went with the necklace and everything um so yeah i really do like the way they turned out and on the ring finger i just put some like slightly bigger stones around the cuticle area and i basically just cure in place you always want to make sure you top coat underneath the nail too because these are like um jelly type of nails like you could see through them so definitely top coat underneath and yeah that is pretty much it for this set it really gives me that autumn vibe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you're new to the channel, I would love it if you subscribed because I always post nail tutorials and reviews every week. You definitely don't want to miss out. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I always keep you guys up to date on there. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you guys.